Hello and welcome to New Junction. Um, today I'll be laying my uh, trackside fence for the uh, heritage line to separate the, uh, the main line. Um, so hopefully what you'll see in this video is a fence being laid um, and the start of the scenery. Let's get on with it. And as if by magic, it's all in. Um, I didn't say before, but this is actually the Pico Flexible uh, fence. Um, it's just brown plastic, but it, uh, I think it's two, three pound a pack. Um, and I've used two packs for this. So, I mean, it's actually, uh, I think, pretty good value in today's uh, modelling market. Um, although it's in, this is just stage one of uh, the fence building. The next stage is to uh, take it back out again and I'll uh, spray that in a wooden colour um, just to make it look a bit more realistic um, you can also see that uh, in between the actual posts uh, if I can focus you've got sort of little nobbles um, you get um, other posts which will need to go in there as well but um, what I'll do next is I'll uh, glue those all on um, um, with uh, I use plastic solvent weld for that um, and then I'll spray it intact in my box. So, on to that. Right, so, what I've got here, I'm going to try not to uh, poison myself or get too high. Um, just crack the glue lid open. These are the uh, little grommets, as you can see. They're uh, ooh, if it'll focus on me. Nope, they're tiny, <laughs> probably about a centimetre, and they go in the middle of each bit. Um, so what I'm going to do with my tweezers, make sure I've got them the right way around, which is the other way. As you can see, I'm very prepared. I'm going to try and get into a rhythm with this because it's uh, going to be quite repetitive. Literally, dab of glue and then straight on the fence. Now, solvent weld being solvent weld, that'll dry pretty much um, instantly um, with the plastic. It's more than strong enough. Um, and literally, the joy of it, you only need a, a tiny dab. So, if I get a bit enough on this brush. able to do multiple pieces I was toying with whether to uh, actually add these or not um, from a perspective point of view I think the fence uh, or thought the fence looked better 
um, initially without um, the extra fence post in the middle. But uh, referring to my good old friend Google and Google Images, um, it would be too big, the gap would be too big um, and out of, very much out of scale without um, these middle posts. So unfortunately I've had to concede for the sake of realism. Realism wins again. I think once they're painted uh, they'll look quite smart. I'll try not to let it bother me so much. So that's not going on, I'll put it around the wrong way around, which is helpful. Hopefully you can see this alright, I'm probably standing in front of the light. Unfortunately this end of the layout uh, doesn't have the best light coverage. There are uh, T5s above me, but uh, they're not the brightest on this end. It's been one of them uh, me-to-do jobs that I've not actually got round to doing, which there are many. Um, unfortunately you, YouTube has become a new priority on my jobs list. <laughs> So I've got to look after my viewers, because without you it would just be me on my own up here. <laughs> now, you can see that fence there, with the uh, fence posts in, and you compare that to one without. You can see why, it, like this, it looks alright, but uh, obviously these taller legs will be buried in the baseboard, so I think this will look much better, the top one. So, I'm going to carry on. and. Uh, I'll see you when I've done. So here we are. All those uh, extra posts are glued in and we're ready for spraying. I'm using a uh, another rail match. Um, shake it about a bit. Spray. Um, and I'll spray this side uh, tonight and I'll do the other side in the morning. And I should be able to uh, put the fence on tomorrow evening, which I'll also film. So here goes. For the next part, I'm sure you've seen this before, but if not I'll have a quick recap. What I do is I take uh, real soil from the garden and I sieve it into this wok to get lovely uh, fine textured soil. Um, this time I'm going to do something slightly different because I fancy trying it. I'm going to add into the, the wok mix before I pour it into the uh, Oxford car tub to pour it on. Before I do that, I'm going to mix in some of the uh, Woodland Scenics uh, fine turfs. Um, I've got earth, green grass, and soil. Um, just going to try and bring the uh, the soil uh, a bit more to life because of the uh, because the ballast is so brown. I just want to try and make it a bit uh, a bit greener. I did try it over here. You can see on the left hand side is the plain soil, which normally next to so the grey ballast looks quite good, but next to the brown ballast it's. Uh, not very uh, differentiated, so I'm going to try and uh, do what I've done here and mix in the other colours. This looks quite good. And of course it's still um, an underlayer, so it's going to be covered mostly anyway, but uh, it's worth a try. So, here goes.
There we go. Another section done. That's just drying. Um, starting to look good from a distance. Um, what we'll do in the morning, because it's uh, for me, uh, it's about midnight. Um, so what I'll do in the morning is I'll, uh, like I said, respray the other side of the uh, fences, and I'll get uh, Henry out to uh, take up any excess of all this uh, scatter. <clears throat> um, so uh, I'll see you in the morning. There we go. The fence is now painted uh, and in position as you can see. And the ground is nearly dry. Um, the dark patch is just where the glue was thicker. But that will get a touch lighter. Um, but as you can see that actually looks really effective and it's a good base for uh, the proper scenery I suppose. Um, it also nicely separates the main line from the heritage line. It looks very different. Um, the next stage, of course, is uh, deciding what uh, scenery will be where. Um, on the, the main line side, I'll have more bushes similar to uh, um, the opposite side. Um, just not as heavy, I don't think. And then uh, I've got to decide what goes here. Um, but as ever, thank you for watching. Hopefully this has been of uh, some interest to you. Um, for those of you who have uh, stuck with the entire video, it has been a long one. Thank you very much. It is appreciated. Um, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.